Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 20th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes and a look at world weather. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours as we have seen some strong M-class solar flares over the past two days as reported here with Daily Events Worldwide. But we did today see a strong M8.9 class solar flare from one of these regions here hasn't been updated on sdo just yet but having a look at the last 48 hours you can see the active regions that were popping off the m class solar flares some big heightened regions turning around in the southern hemisphere cresting right now and i do believe that is the region that produced the m class solar flare look at the last 48 hours outgoing we did have that plasma filament eruption Created quite a CME in a northward fashion and somewhat towards us. A little bit of missing data with the Lasco. Having a look here at another light. And this is where we can see the flaring regions. And as well, cresting there in the southern hemisphere. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Having a look at multi-spectrum. No coronal holes to talk about, but those interesting plasma filaments in the southern hemisphere still spinning around. And as well, you can see the plasma filament eruption in the northeastern region of our sun right there. And that little black kind of uh, piece of a planet looking thing that is just a calibration on the Solar Dynamics Observatory satellite happens every so often having a look here at the 10 sunspot regions noting there in the southern hemisphere watching that region light right up some interesting times we are living in folks this is now solar cycle 25 going into and it's a maximum and we have multiple sunspots to talk about 10 of them on our earth facing surface right now and some pretty strong ones turning around that already gave us some M-class solar flares about a week or two ago. Having a look at the current space weather conditions, we are under R3, strong radio blackouts, impacts are detected, have been detected, and as well R1 going to continue here for the next 24 hours. Solar X-ray flux showing that strong M-class solar flare, as well multiple M-class solar flares in the last two days. Geomagnetic activity seeing at KP2. Looking at the DRAP absorption mat showing the highest frequency affected. And you can see long duration solar flares affecting Earth over the past three days. And this is the last 24 hours for cosmic rays penetration. And look at that right over North America, central regions and into South America strong cosmic charge particles having a look at the real-time solar wind sitting at about 450 kilometers per second still noting there the temperature which is the green graph looking at Alaska 3 showing the last two days of images watch in the top right region that is where we saw a large CME from the plasma filament and as well noting that there is some missing data from just before it and during the eruption. Nonetheless, some amazing images brought to you by SOHO. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's been pretty quiet sitting at about 190 earthquakes, 24 hour period, period, no major swarms to talk about except for the continuing activity through Papua New Guinea and as well the Tonga region. We saw a very deep earthquake today, 607 kilometer depth the book of Fiji that was following the 480 kilometer depth yesterday so larger shallower earthquake to follow in the next 24 hours and with these space weather events watch for that to be a guarantee Romania reporting a 4.1 mid-Atlantic Ridge seeing some activity 4.8 South America pretty quiet too quiet for my liking 4.7 and a 4.3 
the Dominican Republic and into Puerto Rico, continuing activity there. And no major swarms to talk about, but some notable activity across the New Madrid and notable activity there between Russia and Japan. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days for shakers across the world. It's all about staying aware and prepared, everybody. And I want to thank all of you for your loyalty and continued viewership here with daily events worldwide. Going through a lot of, I'd say, life events. <laughs> and now I need a new laptop. So no live streaming for a little while. This is pretty much what you're going to get is the daily do. Premier premiering for you most times at 8.30 p.m., but today a little bit earlier. Now let's get to weather here. Looking at satellite imagery overlooking the United States. Strong low pressure system right over the Carolina states. But the boundary line into the Gulf sprouting some major extreme weather events. So some very extreme weather is going to continue here for the next few days as this low pressure system spins around through southeastern United States. Florida tonight, be on watch, and as well, New Orleans, Alabama, Arkansas. As that low pressure center is moving southward, nasty cold front moving into the Gulf. Having a look at satellite imagery here, watching all of that wildfire smoke sweep eastward from Canada get sucked up into the low pressure system and swept across the eastern United States. And then watching this low pressure system that's been lingering around for about three days now. And will continue to do so heading back west and then eventually northeast again. But strong high pressure ridge in front of that volatile weather will come with it. Having a look at the windy forecast this is the region I was talking about. Lots of lightning and strong storms. As well through central regions of the United States. And Ontario and into Quebec later in the week. Watch for that low pressure system to move up the eastern seaboard. And then after the weekend, strong low pressure system moving and creating through central United States. Long-range forecast bringing a lot of moisture to eastern parts. More low-pressure systems coming in from the Pacific. Mostly coming in from the Pacific Northwest. Overlooking Europe. Large low-pressure center moving through the North Atlantic. Going to continue to bring moisture and spawn off smaller low-pressure systems through the Mediterranean. And into eastern Turkey then into Russia, but long-range forecast showing quite a large low-pressure system developing over Iceland. So lots of moisture being fueled down from the Atlantic for Europe over the next few days. Overlooking the West Pacific, Australia, New Zealand. And as well, noting all of the nasty weather that's moving out of the Mongolian mountains through the Tibetan plateau. Strong low pressure center there developing for most of Australia. And then leave you here looking at South America, North America. No major hurricanes developing, but a couple areas of interest. One moving through the Atlantic and another one and developing long range forecast and moving through the Eastern Pacific. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere as it seems to be ramping up some major and large low pressure systems developing the long range forecast. Much love everybody and I hope you enjoyed today's update. Please don't forget to hit that like button and maybe share with a friend or family. Help grow this channel. Leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. And again, thank you for all the memberships. Thank you for all the gifted memberships. From Miss Honeybee, that's a shout out to you. 
Thank you so much. Appreciate all of the support and love for this channel. Strange days we're living in. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.